Hello darlings, I hope you're all well. This video is weird because I filmed it on my camera but my camera deleted the video or something. I don't know, it was peak. I filmed it on my laptop as well for audio so it, it's really weird. I'm like looking at the camera which isn't there. This is a video on autism and anorexia even though it's like really badly done. And happy new year. This link is very interesting to me. In the 80s, Christopher Gilbert posed the question, could autism and anorexia nervosa share underlying causes? His curiosity came from observations from three autistic boys whose female cousins all had the eating disorder. This video is quite gender biased. Obviously anyone can have this eating disorder, not just women. The study was on women, so yeah. He was a professor at a child and adolescent psychiatry university. He basically suggested that anorexia was like the female form of autism. People with anorexia are more likely to be autistic than those without it. Most researchers agree that roughly 20% of people with anorexia are autistic. About one third of people with anorexia have been diagnosed with autism. And according to a long running study that followed 51 people with anorexia, children with social difficulties at age 7 and 11 are more likely than other peers without such difficulties to engage in disordered eating behaviours and the likelihood of having autism is more than 15 times higher among people with anorexia than among those without. According to data, 5,000 children born in the UK and among 1.7 million people in Denmark, autistic people are more than five times more likely to have anorexia as non-autistic people. And there sadly hasn't been enough research about the link between autism and other eating disorders. The focus is always on anorexia. They like to talk about it because they like to sensationalise it, but people with autism may restrict for many different reasons. It would be like sensory issues with like smells, tastes, textures. But I think a big one is numbers. Um, I'm not going to be talking about specific numbers or anything, but counting calories and stuff. Um, it creates all these rules around food that feel like it's part of your daily routine. You have to maybe even sit in a specific chair, use a specific spoon, if you know what I mean. That repetitiveness of controlling your food, it feels safe almost, even though it's very unsafe. People with autism and anorexia may not even fear weight gain, it's not really about that, it's more about control and routine. Anorexia is like the rarest eating disorder yet, it's the most common eating disorder for people with autism. Two in 10 women with anorexia are autistic. Roughly about 20% of people with anorexia have autism. But yeah, the comorbidity between the two is very high and there's so many crossovers, um, such as thinking patterns, um, social fun functioning. Anorexia is a bully to kill, yet yeah, autism is a friend to be made. If you have autism, um, and anorexia or an eating disorder. I would love to hear what you think. I haven't been diagnosed with autism, but I am like self-suspecting. There's some really good videos on this topic and there's lots and lots of research that's been done on this topic. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you've been well.